Good afternoon, I'm Susan McCord. Thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Zoo. Today's topic is pay attention to what triggers your insecurities in dating and relationships. We all have insecurities and this is what connects us as human beings, but we don't often understand that other people have stuff. We all have things that drive us crazy about ourselves, or that we're just not sure of, where our confidence lacks. This is totally okay, but when you're dating or in a relationship, things can trigger them, your insecurities more than others. And the, the thing that you really want to do here is pay attention to what causes that, what makes you feel this insecurity about anything that's going on in your life. Because once you understand what makes it happen, then you can sort of avoid those situations as much as possible. Because as we go through life, we do become more confident usually, unless we've had so much to deal with and it can sort of set us back. But when you're learning through life and making things better each time something doesn't work out, especially in, in dating scenarios or in some long-term relationships, You've got tools to work with now because you know what happened. You understand that, okay, maybe I let this insecurity sort of take over and maybe that's something I need to work on so that it doesn't transpire in other relationships or other dating experiences. We all have something that we excel at. And so sometimes we're really good in our careers and we're just going through life wonderfully financially and all the other stuff but when it comes to love it's not happening for us and this is what I mean by finding out what triggers that part of your life to not happen for you because there's something that you're blocking so it doesn't come in now often it can be that you're just so friggin busy and you don't put time for dating or trying to find love in your life but I find more often than not, the reason that you've excelled in your business and you're doing really well is because you've put all your energy into there, sometimes because of what's not happening within your relationships. That is okay and you can have all of it. You just have to understand what might be stopping it from coming to you. And we all have something in us that prevents things from happening because we lack the confidence in making it come to us. So this is what you want to figure out. How do I make these insecurities be less so that I can live my life and have all the things I'm looking for? Whenever something isn't happening for you that you would like to happen, quite often it's based out of fear. Maybe you feel you don't deserve it. Maybe you feel you just don't know what it is to bring it towards you. Maybe you had a really bad relationship that broke your heart into a million pieces and you're afraid to go back there again. The bottom line is it's fear driven. And this is something that you want to combat. You want to try and get to the bottom of and the root of the problem as to why this is happening for you. Because you deserve to have love. You deserve to have happiness in your life. But if you're just shutting the door on it and not trying to figure out what the trigger points are here, you're going to be unhappy for a long time. And that's not fair on you. Really, you deserve to have more than that. So let's get to the bottom of why, like what's happening here. This is what you need to figure out. Maybe it's a deep rooted issue from your childhood. Maybe it's something that you're just, you know, it's like a phobia. I'm afraid of having a commitment. Any of these things can make you be less apt to find love in your life because you're not giving it a chance. You're just kind of closing it out and just sort of moving on and doing other things that bring you joy, but you're not getting the whole picture of what you really truly want in your life. The great thing about owning that you have insecurities means that you can find a way to fix them because you're not ignoring them. You understand there might be a bit of a pattern here of what's not happening in your life. So you're willing to go to a different place to try and fix this. And this is a really good thing. A lot of the time, it's just because we don't have healthy boundaries. Sometimes we don't have any boundaries. We just kind of live through the seat of our pants and just keep going and doing all these things that aren't working for us. We're not attracting what we really want toward us. And the reason for that is basically because we're not really sure how to get there. Once you understand that there's an underlying fear of why you have these insecurities, 
it's so much easier to tackle the situation. Because owning your stuff, as I've talked about in a lot of videos, is a big part of healing. Removing fears that you've had to maybe deal with in the past and getting rid of that pattern that keeps happening to you where you're not meeting people that you want to be with, you're not having a relationship. It's really important to look back at your life, where you've come from. How, how are you going to move forward? What tools do you need? Are you okay asking for help? Are you okay seeing a counselor if you do have something that's really stuck? Because having insecurities in your life, as I said earlier, we all have them, but it's how you deal with them moving forward that will better your life. And if you can sit there and keep yourself out of situations that bring these secure insecurities towards you all the time, you will have a much smoother way of moving through life because you understand, ah, that's what makes me think about it. That's what makes me feel insecure. I'm not going to date that type of person that brings that out of me. Maybe I'm choosing a bad boy or a bad girl and I'm always wondering if they're going to come back or if I'm going to ever see them again. Choose different people. Get yourself into a relationship where you're more on the same page with somebody. You have the same priorities. These are the things that you really want to pay attention to because really, as I said, we all have stuff. It's just the way life is. Nobody is immune to having to deal with some aggravations or some upset in their life. But when you know why it comes to you, what you're allowing, is when you will figure out how to better things. So please, please pay attention to them. Write it down if you have to, just to sort of say, okay, this is what happened last time. I, I dated a girl like this, or, or I dated a guy that was this type of person, and it, I just didn't feel good afterwards. My last relationship was full of me being for them all the time. I'm not gonna do that anymore, because that makes me feel insecure that I'm not good enough. So these are the things you want to pay attention to with any relationship you're even thinking about having or that you are in now. You can change it up by just talking to your partner. It doesn't mean because you have insecurities you have to shut your, your mind off from them. You just have to know why they're there and what you can do to alleviate them. Thank you so much for tuning in to Dear Cyber City today. Please subscribe and please leave any comments you have underneath. Don't leave me alive. Thank you so much, everyone. Bye bye.